Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today I am going to run the Excavation Site 12 Lost Sector really quickly for you guys, and it is a super quick one. I mean, like, you can run it as slow or as quickly as you want to, but you're still going to be under 4 minutes. The speed run I did was, my best was 136, so um, I'll get both, uh, both, I'll get the speed run out after this one, but, um, my best run was 136. Alright, so in today's build, I am using the 7th Seraph Carbine for an anti-barrier auto rifle. Um, this was the Banshee, the one that Banshee had last week. This weapon, this week, you can grab this pretty easily. It spawns Warmind Cells, which are very nice. Salvage your Salvo, because there is one Arc Shield in the entire, in the entire thing, and it's the boss. However, it's really nice just to have this to pop him, because it is a match game shield. So you'll want to deal with it quickly. And once again, Royal Entry is a really good rocket that I've used quite a few times, because it's Void. Uh, Void is good because right now with Warmind's Decree, this mod um, on from the artifact, you can spawn Warmind cells with Void weapons, i.e. this Void rocket launcher will spawn a Warmind cell. And I used it to kill champions. Every single champion is worth one Warmind cell if it dies to uh, Void damage. Breach and Clear, also from the artifact, uh, adds a debuff to champions um, and reloads your heavy weapon when you hit them with your grenade launcher. Uh, pretty useful. Global Reach, massive blast radius, allows you to wipe massive parts of a room uh, with the Warmind Cells that this spawns. And Controverse Hold, this is not required, I would say. To be honest, you can do this on any character. That's how easy this Lost Sector is. But I was using Controverse to make this faster. Um, charge your Void Grenade with Chaos Accelerant. Um, and uh, charged Void Grenades return a random amount of energy on hit. It's pretty close to an instant return if it gets to cook on an enemy for a second so great choice um and i'm running fire team medic which is why i'm healing from every uh, war mine cell that's not required and of course uh top tree nova that's what i'm using for uh similar builds you could do probably pretty easily bottom tree night stalker and hit the boss multiple times for huge damage uh for titan i would just say use missile this lost sector is not too difficult however there's a lot of uh constant area of effect damage that the uh, stupid Colossuses hit you with. I say that because I've been hit by, I gotta say, 400 rockets today in making this video. Um, they drive me insane. So run a concussive dampener. It keeps you alive a little bit. Um, you do not need to worry about sniper resists or anything else, I'd say. I put on a rocket reserve so I get a few extra shots for my uh, royal entry. So I hope you enjoy. Good luck farming. It's helmet, it's helmet day. I've gotten a few uh, pretty good ones. So immediately to your left, fire a grenade in, stagger him, hit him and maybe some of his friends with that grenade, blow up that barrel. Here in a second, I'm going to stagger him, rocket, that's enough to kill him, and spawn a warmind cell. Finish that last legionary, save the cell until, okay, apparently there are two left, lol. Okay, finish, save the warmind cell until the shield's down. Pop it, you'll get a few kills from the next room. And apparently stagger the champion. Interesting. Okay. Deal with him first. Forgot about that. We got Controverse. This is literally free because your grenade will come back. Or it's just supposed to. Now, Warmind Cell. Every time you get a kill with Void Damage or your Rocket, Warmind Cell will spawn. Or a kill on the big guys. Yeah, stagger him. Cross the bridge. Just finish him. Doesn't really matter. And then here in a second, once we've dealt with these phalanxes, these last surviving adds, that shield will go down, and that's where the final boss is, just right around the corner. Remember, you can take this as quickly or as slowly as you, as you want to. So I'm going to push forward. There is another unstoppable. Let him come closer. It's easy to deal with him at close range. Ah, that hit when he was not weak. I'm being careless for this. Because I can. I'm saving ammo for the boss. So this boss is really beefy. Of course, deal with the adds first so they're out of your way. But, this guy, he has an arc shield. Ow. Did not see him. Well, okay. Now, 
pop his shield again. And just start hitting him with your grenade, your controversy nades and rockets until he's... He actually gets finisherable at about 20% health. So keep that to your advantage. And you just hit him with grenades and grenade launcher until you can finish him. It's annoying, I know. I don't know why he's just standing there. Grenade launcher will stagger him to where you can essentially just stand out in the open. Now he's finisherable. Bonk, and that's the lost sector. If there was a faster way to kill him, I would use it. Okay, it's helmets today as well. If there was a faster way to kill him easily, I guess shotguns would do it, but then that takes away your primary, and that's not necessarily the best thing for this. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's the whole lost sector. Well, everyone, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you'll subscribe for more of these. I'm trying to get these out as quickly as possible, as well as more of them. Like I'm trying to do speedrun guides, guides as well, because I'm a warlock nerd. Everything has to be fast, so um, just uh, be sure to stick around, and I'll keep making these for you to help you out. Good luck with your grind.